Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You are very welcome here indeed. So as the saying goes, money can't buy you love, but can it buy you time? This is what Brian Johnson is hoping to find out. He reportedly spends millions each year in an attempt to reverse aging and regain his 18-year-old body. To achieve this, he sticks to a rigid diet and exercise regimen. He takes multiple supplements and has frequent tests to analyze the function of his internal organs. He's also tried some pretty novel procedures to rejuvenate his body, such as injecting himself with his 17-year-old son's blood plasma. And there are links in the description below to the studies and to the articles I used to put this presentation together. Not only has Brian Johnson's quest garnered a lot of attention online, it's also left money wondering to what extent his ultimate goal is actually achievable. Can you really be younger than your birth age? There are two interconnected ways of measuring your age. The first is chronological age, which is the easiest to understand. It's really nothing more than how long you've been alive. The most accurate estimate of this is the date on your birth certificate. But in circumstances where documentary evidence is lacking, there are several techniques which are available to estimate your chronological age. Arguably, the best method is by looking at your teeth, specifically the annual cemental lines, which are much like the growth rings that you find on a tree. Biological age, on the other hand, reflects the continuing increase in an organism's chance of becoming sick or dying with the passage of time. Basically, this translates to the rate at which your body is losing its function. That said, while we do all grow older, we don't all lose function capacity at identical rates, and the organ systems in our bodies decline at different speeds too. This means that some people's biological age may be younger or older than the average for that chronological age. Take, for example, the 70-year-old marathon runner who set a world record for his age group in 2018 and then contrasted to many of his peers who are in delicate health or even in long-term care. This shows how biological age can indeed be uncoupled from our chronological age. There are a number of ways to estimate biological age. Surprisingly, one of the best is incredibly simple. Just use your eyes. Research has shown that age estimates made by looking at someone are just as good as some of the more complicated techniques to use to gauge biological age. Another study found that smokers, people who are obese, and those who are in poor health were all perceived as being older than their chronological age by their peers. Given these factors do indeed increase biological age, this shows how accurate just looking at someone can actually be. Another simple but powerful predictor of biological age is measuring a person's grip strength which tends to decrease with age as they all lose muscle mass. Other factors such as illness, obesity, and lack of fitness can also affect this. Low grip strength is one sign that your biological age is probably higher than your calendar age. Other more complicated methods of estimating biological age include testing multiple organ function and also looking at sterile inflammation which measures how many inflammatory molecules are circulating inside your body, and a high number is not good for you. You can also look at epigenetic changes to your DNA, the length of your chromosome ends, or the number of senescent cells a person has to measure their biological age. However, the latter two typically only provide a very rough estimate. If you're hoping to turn back the clock and reverse your aging, the best place to start is by focusing on your lifestyle. Regular exercise, quitting smoking, drinking only in moderation, watching your weight, and eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and fish, and cutting out processed foods are all things that make a huge difference to your biological age. Roughly, there's a 15-year difference in life expectancy between a person who does four of these five things when compared to someone who does none of them at all. There are also treatments in development that could rapidly and significantly reverse aging if they translate effectively from rodents to humans. For example, researchers have demonstrated that the accumulation of senescent cells in tissues is a primary cause of aging in mice. Removing them has shown improvements in both their health and their lifespan. These studies have also compared the effects of removing the senescent cells throughout the animal's life with letting them accumulate and then removing them at the end when the mouse is old. Both interventions have improved both the health span and the lifespan of these mice. 
and the latter could be described as actually reversing aging. Many attempts are ongoing to duplicate these effects in humans, while a range of other techniques to improve later life health are also being studied. And success with any of these could also dramatically reduce healthcare costs and revolutionize how we spend our later years. I think Brian Johnson's attempt to reverse aging is somewhat of a mixed bag of the practical and the hopeful. But if his results are to be believed, and he does post them all the time on social media, he seems to be on track. Do you think his long-term goal of reaching the age of 200 is achievable? If you followed my longevity experiment for any length of time, you'll know that my aim isn't necessarily to live longer. It was in fact to extend my health span so I can continue to do the things I'm doing now right up until the time I actually die. My aim was to be as active and as involved as possible and not to become a burden to those who are around me. If I could choose how to go, I think I would like to hit my personal best, a PB in the gym or maybe on the bike sometime in my late 90s and then go to bed and then never wake up. Let me know in the comments below what do you believe is a realistic target in regard to age that you think you could achieve and how many of the five things that I mentioned earlier do you either do or do you not do?